Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Bloomberg Pro to get out the data to do our evaluation model. And again, we're going to use Google as our working example. So you need to log in to the Bloomberg terminal, which I'm doing here. And once you're logged into the software, you can start typing in the name of the company or their ticker symbol, in this case, Google. Start typing in Goog. And in the middle of the screen, you'll see the list of securities, which you can either select with the mouse or finish typing out uh, the US and the equity. US being the stock market, equity being analyzing the equity security. You'll notice there's a corp option for Google Corp. That is the debt, uh, again, Bloomberg is a big fixed income service. But again, for our purposes, we're going to use the equity. So Goog space US space equity. That'll bring you to the equity overview screen. <clears throat> As part of our analysis and valuation exercise, we're going to rely on several screenshots to help us out. And I'm going to give you what's called the short codes. Uh, Bloomberg is a data service, was created in the 1980s. And before we had graphical user interfaces, they were a text-driven service, and that text-driven legacy remains. So you can either click on what you want or type in the short code, and it will get you there. Uh, one of the options that we're going to use is something called beta. So you can type in B-E-T-A to get a company's beta. By default, Bloomberg will give you a two-year beta. We're going to want a five-year beta. So in this case, I'm going to change the range back to 2008. Hit the Enter key or Go key and that will basically add the new data points. Uh, the raw beta, based on the slope of that trend line, is 0.965, adjusted 0.977. Again, for purposes of our EIC analysis, we are going to use the raw of the companies, US companies, uh, against the S&P 500 index. To take a screenshot in Bloomberg, come up to this menu, hit the dropdown, save screen as file, pick a location, on your hard drive or thumb drive. Again, I'm going to recommend a file format ticker symbol, in this case, Goog dash beta. Second screenshot that we're going to use is something called, go back to the main menu here, the description field, DES is the short code. <clears throat> this has a lot of summary data on it, but in particular, what we're going to care about is the current shares outstanding. That's a number we're going to need when I do when we do our valuation, so we'll use that from the screenshot. Again, in this case, I'm going to come up here, file, save screen as file, goog-des. Third screenshot we're going to use is the weighted average cost of capital, which we'll use as the discount rate in our valuations. Bloomberg WACC is the short code for the WAC. Again, once you're on a company, and again, you can see a current weighted average cost of capital estimated for Google. Again, if you want to see the detail, you can click on equity and that would give you the cap M, which if you wanted to change any of the assumptions, you could. And again, debt will give you their estimate of how they calculate the cost of debt based on market weights. But in this case, what I want is a screenshot of this. So export, save screen as file, Goog dash whack. And the last screenshot that we're going to need as part of our valuation exercise is EEO, which stands for Earnings Estimate Overview. This is where we can get the current market consensus for forecasted earnings for a company. By default, it gives a quarterly view, and what we're going to care about is the annual view. So I'm going to switch this to the annual view, hit enter, update the data. <clears throat> and again, I'm going to export this. Save screen as file, goog-eeo. Okay, so those are our four screenshots. And then next, we're going to go to the FA screen, which stands for Financial Analysis. And this is where we can get historical financial information. Uh, in this case, you can see a series of tabs, different statement data. We're going to need the income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow data. So I click on the IS tab to get income statement data. And you'll see a series of sub tabs. What we're going to want is what's called the standardized format. In the standardized format, somebody at Bloomberg has gone through the 10 Qs and 10 Ks and put it into a standardized format, which is important when we export 
is we're going to want the data in our model to map to a standardized format as opposed to the as reported format which is how the company is actually reporting it in its 10 Q's and 10 K filings and again you can see there's a common size format which puts everything as a percentage of revenue but in this case as I said what we're going to care about is the standardized format and then once we get here we're going to go to the output we're going to dump it to Excel so again make sure that Excel is loaded on one of the terminals with the plugin because uh, without the plugin with Excel it's not going to properly export the data <clears throat> and then every time you export to Excel uh, the Bloomberg terminal from the Bloomberg terminal uh, Microsoft Excel is going to give you a warning a security warning basically saying that uh, the Excel file that's being imported has a potential security risk are you sure you want to do this you want to hit yes um, that menu <clears throat> could be hidden behind your screen and if it is it will cause you problems because every time you export until you hit the yes it will not finish and complete the export <clears throat> so what has happened now is it's opened up a file with some database lookups and it is now pulling from the database and putting in the numbers now what's important is that when we leave the lab if we don't have access to a Bloomberg terminal you notice that these aren't actually numbers in this Excel spreadsheet they're actually database fields and it's looking them up in real time in the database so in order to have numbers when we leave the lab what's going to be important is we select the entire tab copy the tab and then we want to go paste special values so that will turn all of those formulas into actual numbers so that when we leave the lab we will not have trouble accessing the data on our thumb drive to export into our model. Final step is that Excel is not going to like these references that are pound NA slash NA. <coughs> um, Excel will choke on that in our model. It won't recognize those as values and it won't do proper calculations. So we're going to treat these as zero fields when there's no data available. So the last step that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to replace the pound NAs with zeros. So you can use the control F, which is the find command, pound n slash a space n slash a, replace with zeros. That way when we import into it, <coughs> our model this data, we won't have any trouble with those fields. Finally, I'm going to save this file as an Excel worksheet workbook put it in my shared folder here and again I'm gonna name this goob dash is for the income statement we need to do the same thing with the balance sheet and the statement of cash flow again we want the standardized balance sheet output Excel When we go to Excel, again, we're going to get the security warning. Yes, it's okay to open up this Excel file. <clears throat> again, it's going to pull the database to bring down the data into our Excel worksheet. Take a second for it to finish filling out. Same process. Select the sheet. Copy. Paste special. Values. Control F, find the pound and slash A slash and slash A, replace with zeros, replace all. A bunch of replacements are made. Close that. File. Save as Excel workbook. In this case. Again, put it in my shared data folder. And again, I'm going to call this Goog BS for balance sheet. And finally, the third statement is the statement of cash flow, gap statement of cash flow that we're going to need. Again, output to Excel. When I go to Excel, 
yes to the security warning. It will then dump in the most recent cash flow data. And again, very similar process. So once the data has finished importing into our Excel model, we're going to select the tab, copy, paste special values, control F, find the pound and slash A space and slash A, replace with zeros, replace all. And then finally, I will save this. And again, put it in shared folder. And I will call this Goog-CF. So now we have taken from Bloomberg the relevant data necessary to finish out our evaluation model. And we will then go into the next video, which will talk about how to take that data and create a forecasted valuation of, in this case, Google as our example.